Jujutsu Kaisen's second season was nothing short of amazing. The anime astounded us with its superbly arranged battle scenes and captivating animation in every episode. Though the heartbreaking deaths of some of our favorite characters like Nanami and Nobara brought us to tears, several new characters will be introduced in the next installment, which I'm very sure will pique your interest. JJK fans all around the world, welcome to Seven Anime Lab, and now... We're looking at the top 10 new highly anticipated characters that will debut in the upcoming season 3 of Jujutsu Kaisen, the culling game You arc. take it from here. Tenth on the list is Dhruv Lakdawala. One of the major players in Noah's Civil War and one of the oldest sorcerers given life by Kenjaku, Dhruv Lakdawala will appear in the next edition of Jujutsu Kaisen. This would be his third reincarnation, having done it once before during the conflict. Dhruv is an undoubtedly powerful sorcerer who was able to preserve his life across generations through two different incarnations after his original life. His most notable feat is single-handedly conquering Japan in the Civil War of Wa. In the modern era, the Shikigami user was able to score over 90 points in the culling game. However, he was no match for the unusual abilities of Yuta Okotsu, which are second only to Satoru Gojo. He is also one of the only non-Japanese sorcerers in the plot, and will serve as an antagonist during the Culling Games arc. However, he will not be the arc's major antagonist. Number 9. Charles Bernard Before being compelled to take part in the Culling Game against his will, Charles Bernard was a determined mangaka who was actively pursuing his dreams. Kenjaku unintentionally gave him the ability to acquire a curse skill. Charles has improved his technique throughout time, becoming a skilled spearman with his G-War staff and user of Jujutsu. He may or may not have eliminated other players, but he is familiar with the fundamentals of Jujutsu, particularly the operation of domains and cursed energy. Forced to participate in the culling game, Charles found himself unable to find a good reason to fight to the death. He wants to be like heroes from manga and fight for something positive, but while unable to do so, Charles selfishly asked Kinji Hakari to give him a reason to kill. Hakari obliged and insulted Charles's dreams, making Charles cry and inspiring him to attack. Number 8. Reggie Starr like most of the characters in the list, Reggie Starr was also reincarnated by Kenjaku to participate in the culling game. In JJK Season 3, he'll be a formidable adversary. Reggie Starr's ability to deceive others and utilize them for his nefarious purposes makes his mind his most potent weapon. His fast thinking allowed him to rapidly adjust to the culling game's environment. He began eliminating the guys he felt weren't worthy enough to be in the game and allying with the stronger players. Despite proving to be a formidable fighter in his battle against Megumi, his overconfidence in his abilities led to his downfall. Number 7. Takako Uro Takako Uro is a jujutsu sorcerer from a thousand years ago who was reincarnated for the culling game by Kenjaku. She was the captain of the Sun, Moon, and Star Squad, a group of assassins linked with the Fujiwara family in her previous life. Takako has retained her strength in her second life. She is one of the highest scoring players in the early stages of the culling game while fighting in one of its most violent colonies. She scored 70 points in 12 days and her abilities forced a deadlock with other elite players, the likes of Druv, Kururushi, and Ryu Ishigori. Number 6. Ryu Ishigori Ryu Ishigori is a jujutsu sorcerer from 400 years ago who was incarnated into the modern era by Kenjaku to participate in the culling game as a player. He is a confident, calm, and cool individual who is uninterested in anything that does not excite his interest. He kills other culling game participants without hesitation and is unconcerned about any non-combatants caught in the crossfire. During his duel's climax with Yuta Okotsu, Ryu was enjoying every moment of pushing his powers to their limit and described the sensation as seriously sweet. As Yuta continued to surpass expectations and grant Ryu more action after using every last drop, 
Ryu's excitement grew until he officially deemed the encounter as the dessert he'd longed for. Even in defeat, Ryu was gracious and thanked Yuta before declaring that his stomach was finally full. Number 5. Hajime Kashimo Hajime Kashimo, also known as the God of Lightning, is a Jujutsu Kaisen antagonist turned supporting character. He is a 400-year-old sorcerer who is now possessing the body of someone Kenjaku created as a vessel and has participated in Kenjaku's culling game, trying to find and confront Sukuna. Hajime swiftly dominated the culling game and became the first player to add a new rule after being returned to a youthful body with a second opportunity at the prime of his life. In barely twelve days, Hajime easily eliminated at least forty other players and garnered notoriety throughout the Tokyo colonies. All of those he murdered were deemed far too weak by Hajime, even more so than those from four hundred years ago. Number 4. Kinji Hakari Kinji Hakari is a third-year student at Tokyo Jujutsu High who has been suspended for defying authorities. While not at school, Kinji runs the Gachinko Fight Club, a venue for sorcerers to compete in hand-to-hand -hand combat for money. Despite this, Satoru Gojo held him in great regard, considering him one of the few people who could one day surpass him. As a result, fans are eagerly anticipating his return in the next Jujutsu Kaisen Season 3. He has captured admirers all around the world with his distinct and charismatic personality, combined with his unique skills and unconventional combat style from his first appearance in Chapter 154 of the manga. Hakari has established himself as a fan favorite over his multiple appearances in the culling game storyline. Occupying the top three spot on the list, we have Fumihiko Takaba, who is a failing comedian turned sorcerer, debuted as a minor character in Chapter 146, and reappeared in Chapter 239 as a powerful sorcerer. In the culling game, Fumihiko arrived at the last minute and protected Megumi Fushiguro against Reggie Star and Aori Hazanoki. He fought Aori, who later decided to withdraw after learning the fate of Reggie. Takaba's innate cursed technique, Comedian, allows him to manipulate reality by thinking of something funny. In Chapter 173, the narrator reveals that Takaba's cursed technique has the potential to rival even Satoru Gojo. In Chapter 239, he encountered Kenjaku and their fight started with Kenjaku, launching a very powerful attack. However, Takaba not only survived the attack, but also appeared completely unharmed, leaving the ancient curse user speechless. Kenjaku realized that his attack hit Takaba, but the latter somehow made it possible not to receive any damage. Seating prettily on the second spot, Hanakurusu is one of the most exciting characters who will appear in JJK Season 3. As someone who symbiotically shares her body with the Angel, an incarnated sorcerer from the Heian era, she wields the latter's jujutsu. In order for the Angel to find and eliminate the other incarnated players, among them the disgraced one, Ryomen Sukuna, Hana took part in the culling game. Hana mostly used her skills outside of battle during the culling games. She can not only fly using the angel's strength, but she can also use the angel's technique, which allows Hana to extinguish all other curse techniques without prejudice. This gave the girl advantages during the culling game that no other sorcerer had. This includes being allowed to freely cross through barriers. Until the game's twelfth rule, Hana was the only player who could traverse colony borders, while others were trapped within single colonies. Hana's most significant contribution to Yuji, Megumi, and their allies came when she used Jacob's ladder on the back of the prison realm to rescue Satoru Gojo. And of course, anyone who read the manga would definitely agree with me in bestowing the number one seat to its rightful ruler, the one and only Hiromi Higuruma. A defense attorney turned sorcerer who was originally born as a non-curse user, Hiromi Higuruma made a brief appearance in the 143rd chapter of the manga before appearing in chapter 158, titled Kogan. He is a very relaxed, hyper-intelligent, and modest man who always appears very detached and aloof from his environment. 
He can come off as apathetic due to the weary expression that's always on his face, but Hiromi is actually very passionate about justice. Before receiving his abilities, he often took on impossibly difficult cases to protect the wrongfully accused. After Kenjaku gave him the capacity to develop a curse technique, he was able to hone his skills and reached a level comparable to that of a grade one sorcerer within twelve days of awakening his curse techniques. Before entering Tokyo Colony, no one, Higuruma exercised numerous cursed spirits. Inside the colony, he killed at least twenty players who attacked him. This made Hiromi the first modern sorcerer to score one hundred points in the culling game. He started out as the enemy during the culling game arc, but he eventually teamed up with Yuji Itadori and the good guys of the series. Do you agree with me with the characters in the top three spots, or do you have someone in mind that should be in those spots? Leave your comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to get updated on our latest uploads. Till next time.